My name is Mike Verhoog, and I grow corn, soybeans, and alfalfa for the cows. And now we're right around 1,000 acres. Dad started the farm when I was like three years old because the equipment's so expensive. So we hire a sprayer to come out. They would tramp the corn. I sort of looked into it, you know, on the best field, best conditions, a row crop sprayer is going to tramp. In reality, it's like one to 5%, 5% is like that. When we calculate that out and you've got 200 bushel corn, 10 bushels of corn saved at, you know, and prices are not great right now. So at $5, that's like 50 bucks an acre. I'm seeing stuff like maybe five bushels more per acre, 50 to $100 better per acre by using a drone. And so wherever we can save on compaction, it's a huge. With the drones, it just follows that contour up and over like it's nothing, right? And it, like the hills and stuff don't really affect the drone. So much better for the crop, much better for the equipment, uh, much better for the operator. One of the huge advantages of the T100 is the way it can broadcast to standing crops. We can get in there anytime into the crop. We can broadcast it, it does a beautiful job. I love that part of it. Cover cropping is so important. Um, it helps with soil erosion. It helps with your organic matter. It keeps something live growing in your soil through the whole year. Treat our soil better and in the long run, the soil is going to be there and active and growing and a better quality soil for my kids than it is for me now. A traditional spraying workflow for me is first we got to map the field. So I'll take my M3M out and we'll, we'll scan the field. After that, we get the drone ready. It goes, it flies, it lands, you fill it again and you press start. I use the drone on my farm for a bunch of different reasons. In the early season, we're doing like frost seeding and then we'll do some fertilizer applications. Drones are super efficient. 30 cents an acre for fuel and about 10 cents an acre for repairs over, that was over 8,000 acres, you know, like very low. The T100, it's penetrating down into it covers the leaves it gets the bottom of the leaves it gets all the way down using a drone it sort of was a no-brainer for us here at the farm we just had to do it 